What's going on? It's your boy Flair, and today I'm gonna be talking about something you all should do before update 5. Doing this will help you out in the long run and get you ready for update 5 with all the new fruits and items coming to the game. Without further ado, let's get on with the video. So most of you already know this, but if you didn't know, GPO might be free in update 5. Now if it's not free, it's definitely gonna be less money. And if a game is free, or it costs less money than it originally did, it's bound for more new players to come to the game. Meaning, when update 5 drops, GPO will have a lot of new players playing the game. We do not care. Alright, listen, 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 alright? Right now, currently, in GPO, there are some items that will increase in value in Update 5. You all know all the items, basically. I'm gonna put a few pictures up, but yeah. Items like this will increase on Update 5. So, you need to get your hands on those by any means possible, alright? Now, with that being said, that brings me to the main topic of this video. Before update 5, take all the fruits, every fruit you have in your inventory, and turn it into an unobtainable item. The reason you want to turn all of your fruits into an unobtainable item is for number one, this game is going to be less money or free. So it's going to be a whole bunch of new players who want all this unobtainable stuff. And right now, you have a chance to get that same stuff for a little bit less value. Now, another big reason you want to turn all the fruits you have and try to get unobtainables is because unobtainable items hold more value than fruits. And when update 5 comes out, your unobtainables are going to get you what you want. Like, hey, you want Paul or, let's see, Kage? Trading away an unobtainable will easily get that. Now, I'm not saying that, you know, you're going to need an unobtainable to get that fruit. I'm just saying when update 5 comes and all that stuff is skyrocket price you're gonna have to have something that also has a skyrocket price to even match those fruits when they first come out and that's why i'm saying get you some unobtainables now you also don't have to like trade them right away you can wait let them sit in your inventory then pop out cash out and boom another reason why you want to have unobtainables going into update 5 instead of fruits it's because fruits can lose value. Yes, for example, look at Suna. One point the value was high and all the way up there. Now look at Suna. Literally barely has some value. Ito. Ito has some good value and it is slowly decreasing. Update 5 comes, nobody might even care about that fruit anymore. So if you're holding on the fruits going into an update, I personally will like Try to go get you an unobtainable item. One, two, at least one. Promise you, it's gonna do you so much better than whatever fruit or fruits you had in your inventory. Now, if you're like me, I have pretty much every unobtainable I would need. I don't have flowers, JFit, none of the candy canes, or a pea bag, or marine cake. But I have mostly all the other ones. Instead of that, I can start collecting fruit. Like, if you have a few unobtainables, like three, four, maybe five, you don't have to keep collecting. You can honestly start getting new fruits. But if you have no unobtainables and you have some fruits, go get you an unobtainable item. Trust me. Another reason why you should do this, because remember I said how fruits going into an update can lose value? Unobtainables, the completely opposite. They don't lose value, the value of them just increases over time now sometimes the unobtainable may lose demand where no one really wants it but once that demand comes back value is also going to increase so it's way better than just walking around with a whole bunch of fruits and the reason it matters so much for update 5 is because of the new players and like all updates unobtainables will increase but if this game becomes free 
I'm telling you right now, every unobtainable is just gonna skyrocket. Every single one. Jester Scythe, at least a Tori. Wings, at least a Tori. Ball Head, Tori Pika Mongo. Elo's Hammer might get to one times all through. I'm just being completely honest. If this game becomes free, and all these new players walk around and see us OGs with all this good stuff, they're gonna be like, man, I wonder how I can get that. Then they're gonna realize, oh, they have to trade for it. Then they're gonna realize, you can't just trade anything, it's gonna cost them a lot. And guess what? Those new players will pay that. They're gonna pay. So, go and get you an unobtainable right now. Let go of some of those fruits. Look, it's a fruit. You can come back and get it at any time. An unobtainable, you cannot just go back and get it at any time. The value is constantly gonna be increasing. So, you gotta get it while it's low. So, if you have some fruits in that inventory, go collect you some unobtainable items. Even if you don't use them right away, just let them sit in your inventory. Then, when the time is right, you will have a nice reward, whether that be one of the new items for update 5, or if you wait longer than update 5, and then you just get you a good payday. It's a smart investment. You guys should really consider it and do it. Now, if you've made it this far to the video, you are an absolute goat. Please take this advice. I want everybody to be eating on update 5. I want us to completely bully all the new players and over, like, charge them so much for the stuff we have. I don't want them coming to the game thinking this is all. I'm just, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I'm taking it serious. Alright, yeah. So, basically, the conclusion of this video. First thing first, get you some fruits. If you don't have or know how to get some, Watch the video link in the description box down below. I go over the best way to get you some devil fruits and grand piece online. Now, once you have your fruits, trust me, I know it might look good having all those in your inventory. You might think you're balling. Just go get you an unobtainable. You're gonna be balling even more. I promise you. But yeah, that's gonna be it for the video. I appreciate everybody for watching. All the support we've been getting on the channel lately. Let me know in the comment section down below what you want to see. Also, I said it once, I'm going to say it again, I'm doing a giveaway at 3,000 subscribers, so, you know, make sure you stay tuned and join that giveaway, you know, I'm really looking forward to it, I'm really looking forward to see what I can do with this channel, but, yeah, other than that, it's your boy, Flair, I love each and every one of y'all, and I'm out. Oh, one more thing before I go, I forgot to tell you, make sure you join my Discord, link down below. That's where the giveaway will take place. I also talk in my own Discord server and I do pop up giveaways. So the joining is just a W for you. But now the video will end. It's your boy Flair and I'm out. Peace.